Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifier. So today we'll be learning some tips and tricks for para jumbles. One of the important component of verbal ability of CAT exam. And this is the one topic that has been asked in lot many other management entrance tests also. So let's get into learning some tips and tricks for it. So I would say that wherever you get questions on para jumbles, the first and the foremost thing that you need to do is that read all the sentences carefully okay and try and figure out what is the subject what is the theme by subject and the theme i mean that at first glance of reading all the sentences you should be clear ki sentence baat kiske bare mein kar raha hai aur baat kya kar raha hai okay so whether it is talking about tagore or is it talking about let's say shakespeare this thing should be clear okay and what it is talking about is it talking about amitabh bachchan's film career or is it talking about amitabh bachchan's personal traits okay so at the first glance get an idea what is the subject of all the sentences and what is the theme okay the next thing that you need to do in the case of the para jumbles is to figure out the opening sentence the opening sentence is pretty obvious okay because of the three parameters that any sentence which is an opening sentence is the most general in nature it is an independent sentence now what is an independent sentence we'll learn in a couple of seconds when i'm gonna do one particular para jumble question with you so uh, figure out the opening sentences like okay this is the sentence which is most general in nature it is an independent sentence and the third thing is that the rest of the sentences revolves around that subject so these are three things that help you figure out the introductory sentence the next is look for some of the pairs okay now there can be a lot of pairs uh, i would say for example noun and pronoun this is very important so whenever you get any pronoun in your sentences of para jumbles always highlight them so these so what are these it could be the one of the sentence can say he so who is this he okay those issues so you know that those issues should be presented anywhere else in the sentence also okay so any sentence that has the noun referring to a particular pronoun will become your pair or a block for that matter the another pair i would say is the full form and abbreviation and it also helps you a lot in many questions and i'm sure that you know that every time whenever what we are doing is that we're going to write world health organization and in the next sentences we're going to write who so anywhere we can wherever you are getting the full form that will going to precede the sentence containing the abbreviation of it the next i would say is that always follow this thumb rule of going from general to specific okay so always keep the general sentences right at the beginning of the sequence and then get into the specific mode the next thing that i would say is that importance of uh, i would say the same flags and the opposite flags now the same flags are the words like also moreover in addition to furthermore and then there are the opposite flags so the opposite flags actually change the idea so i'm saying mohan is intelligent but he is he needs to work on his interpersonal skills right so these actually changes the thought okay so you can say call them as a thought reversal also so keep a uh, check on these words they also help you a lot in solving para jumbles so with this understanding let's get into the mode of solving one question which was the previous year cat question okay now uh, let's analyze all the sentences and understand so the first and the foremost thing at a quick glance of all these sentences what you can figure is that the sentence talk about this guy michel hoffman and the theme is moreover that in terms of worth and rewards translators come somewhere near nurses and street cleaner so we know at a first glance of reading that the subject is related to the michel hoffman and the theme is related to that poets and the trans translators are not being rewarded to that extent that they should be okay now the next thing that you need to do is to figure out the opening sentence now let's analyze close the all the sentences and see which one is the independent of all now michel hoffman a poet and a translator accepts this sorry fact so this it has some dependency right so what is this sorry fact right similarly but thanklessness and impossibility do not daunt him so again it has some sort of the dependency on the other sentences he acknowledges to okay again who is the c right hoffman this is a short name and this is the full name so any house this will going to precede this and we know that a cannot be the opening sentence and the only option that is left for us to be the opening sentence is sentence number e okay so in terms of the gap between worth and rewards translators come somewhere near nurses and street cleaners okay 
Now what next in this story? So Michel and Hoffman, a poet and a translator, accepts this sorry fact. Now in out of all the sentences, where is the sorry fact that is being highlighted? So the sorry fact is this fact which is being highlighted in sentence number E that in terms of the gap between worth and rewards, translators come somewhere near nurses and street cleaners and you can see there is an echo word this guy Michel Hoffman he is a translator okay so he accepts this sorry fact so that makes E and A a block okay so Michel Hoffman a poet and a translator accept this sorry fact without approval or complaint okay now we know that this sentence is also a negative sentence this sentence is also sort of negative sentence now what next okay he acknowledges too. Now why? Now we know that this he is actually used for Michel Hoffman. He acknowledges too. That is the same flags. Remember I told you same flags and the thought extender. So he acknowledges too before because before this he is accepting something. So other than accepting this he is acknowledging too. That is in fact he returns to the poet often that best translators of poetry always fail at some level. So that makes it E, A and C a pair. Okay. Now in case if you read both the sentence B and D, there is a change in a thought. So it's becoming positive. This is also sort of positive. Now whenever you are changing the ideas from negative to positive, you need those thought reversals or the opposite flags. And that is being introduced very well with the sentence B. But okay so but changes the tone okay that despite all these things the thanklessness and impossibility do not doubt him it do not stop him okay Hoffman feels passionately about his work and this is clear from his writing so the correct sequence for this para jumbles is E A C B D okay so I hope the things are clear to you so for more learning more such tips and tricks on para jumbles or other concepts of verbal ability Follow quantifiers, all the required links are there at the down of the site and uh, yes, uh, we also have this 24 into 7 doubts group so you can always follow that. Thank you, all the best.